I feel like I'm having just a little kind of a midlife crisis because I've turned 30 years old and I feel so old. So what's the best thing to do when you're having a midlife crisis at 30? You dye your hair orange. Like, I had it in my head that I was going to dye my hair peach. Now, I've, I'll leave like links below, but if you look at my previous videos, I think I've got like two of them. I have dyed my hair peach before, using Bleach London. But then, I was on YouTube, as they do, and I was just browsing through, and Kristen Leanne, I think it is, who's a co-founder of Arctic Fox, a while ago, she done like a split hair tutorial. Oh my god, just, sorry, I've got a bit of baby food there, but... Anyways, she done like a split hair tutorial where she done like a, a bit of a bluey colour on one side and a peach on one on like the other side. And she used porringe, porange, and electric paradise from the Arctic Fox colour collection, you know, like their hair dyes, to basically get this beautiful peach colour. And I was like, mm, I need to try them. The colours have come and they're amazing, but when that's coming and Halloween's coming and like I don't know what it is, but I really fancy orange hair. Now, I've never been one for orange hair. I've done pink and purple, I've done pink, and I've done peach, and I stick to them kind of little colours, but I've never done orange. I think peach is like the closest that I've kind of ever got, but I've never done orange. I'm like a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. If you're also checking like the links below, I do have a video where I've just bleached my hair, not that you'd really tell, but I bleached my hair, because my roots were like down here somewhere and it was like perfect shade but then I couldn't not have any dark roots I kind of regretted in a way putting dark roots in because looking back at the video I actually do quite like a bit of the bleached hair but I don't know I just felt really uncomfortable so I felt like I really needed why are you flickering darling what are you doing dodgy wiring dodgy wiring from the ring light that I paid Stupid money for, and I got ripped off for. You'll know if you've watched my videos. So yeah, I bleached my hair, looked nice to say that I didn't like it, put some dark roots in, and I want the dark roots to fade a bit because I don't like a really, really bad job, so do not judge me when you see them, but there's not a fade going on at all. There's like some horrible lines. I just use a nice and easy, demi-permanent I think it was and then when I used this dark colour which I think was medium brown that I put on my hair the colour of the brown like ran into the blonde and stained the blonde a bit and I was like oh no but actually it looked all right it has washed a little bit now and the brown has faded a little bit now and it's not perfect but you know what I'm just going to stick the orange on and I'm just going to hope for the best so this is what we've got going on at the minute so it's not actually, it's actually quite a nice colour, so it's a bit of a shame to be kind of like putting an orange on, because it is such a pretty colour. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the line? It's pretty bad, but that'll get sorted out one day, that's totally fine. Like I had said, I had ordered the two colours from Arctic Fox. I went and ordered these from the Arctic Fox website directly. When you go through the Arctic Fox website, it comes up as like pound signs, but when you go through the shipping, it comes up in dollars. So I ordered obviously um, Porange and Electric Paradise. They are, these are actually, it says UV reactive neon colours. So when I go into neon light, not like I've got any time because I've got three kids and I've never got time to do anything. But if I ever did go clubbing and I went in neon light, or maybe when I'm doing some nails at work, I can sit my head under the lamp, these hair colours will glow. It came up at £13.99. $13 I think it worked out at like something like eleven ninety nine. They weren't that expensive. Um, and there's a girl that I follow on YouTube. I will leave her link below. And she's called Tessa. Te I, I say it's Tessa because... That's just how I talk, but it's Tessa. I'll leave like a little name just there. 
but yeah and she had a discount code so i got two dollars 79 discount off which you know it's better than nothing she dyes her hair like using octave fox all the time she wore like a bluey color now she's purple so obviously i was like need a discount code ordered directly from octave fox the colors came within a couple of days so i was happy because i wasn't in any kind of rush to be dying my hair anyways i think i've had these about a week now because i've been a little bit scared they just came in a box the seal obviously they've got this beautiful sticker which i thought was like really really nice and i just had like slice i was dead excited to open this box yeah but when i opened the box people like the smell is unreal like i've never smelled hair dye this nice now i'm a bit of a coconut smelling fan and this isn't coconut but it's like bubble gum just hits you in the face oh it's really really nice so i got me two colors in my itsy bitsy box i got eight ounce bottles porridge as you can see and electric paradise this is a stunning color don't get me wrong and when these two are mixed together it makes a stunning color but i feel like i just need orange hair I just really need orange hair like i just i'm a bit scared because i do actually like the color of my hair at the minute but yeah so i'm going to be using porridge porridge shall i have a look inside she is stunning oh honestly they've done good with this smell really good i'm gonna go in the shower because my hair needs a wash anyway so why put color on dirty hair i'm gonna go in the shower i'm gonna wash my hair and then we'll come back down <laughs> Sometimes it just looks like you can still see the blonde, even though it is covered. I've never ever used Arctic Fox before. This is the first time. How much have I used? I'd probably say I've used about three quarters of the bottle. It feels lovely. It's nice and thick. It's like putting conditioner on your hair. I'm just going to pop it up on the top of my head. Direction. Shampoo, hair and dry. Maybe that's why it looks a bit blonde because I've not done it on dry hair, but that's okay. You know, I leave in for at least 30 minutes. For best results, cover hair with plastic cap, process with heat, and black blow dry up to 15 minutes. Well, I won't be doing that because the kids are in bed, but I might just go and get a carrier bag and tie it around my head. I think it's going to turn out nice. It might not be as bright as it's meant to be if it's not on dry hair. But honestly, like if I put it on dry hair, I'll probably need to use like a bottle and a half. I've washed my hair. I washed my hair with like not super freezing cold water, but I just rinsed it off with quite cold water. When I was rinsing it, I was still seeing some blonde. Maybe that bit's fit on me. Maybe though that I'm still seeing the blonde because I didn't actually put the dye on on um 
oh god I can't wait words out maybe because I didn't put the dye on dry hair but let's have a look I've only seen it when it was in the bathroom I don't think you can see it properly in this light it didn't then god my hair is terrible look at it man it didn't um, take long to rinse out either. It really didn't. I've had it before where you stand there for ages and you just rinsing and rinsing and rinsing, but this wasn't actually too bad. Oh, it's quite nice, it's actually. I look like I got dreads. I've got some leave in conditioner. This is just some Aldi stuff. I'm just gonna spritz my hair a bit before I even attempt to brush it. And then I've got this Tony Guy Tamed Serum. Fights for us and smooths. So the bottle's broke and I'm gonna put a canny good size dollop on my hand, you can't see it, but I do put quite a lot of this in because my hair is damaged from bleaching it. I'm gonna do this before I even brush it to try and help the brushing procedure. Hi, so I'm back and this is the final results of my hair. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit quietly, the kids are in bed. So this is what we're left with. I'm going to be completely honest, this isn't what I was expecting. I thought porridge was a bit more of like a an orange, but this is like an orangey peach. Um, I can see why if you mix electric paradise and you mix porridge together that you get a beautiful peach colour because this definitely has like peachy vibes. But I was expecting more of an orange colour and something maybe just a little bit more brighter. I mean, don't get us wrong, it is a beautiful colour. But you know when it's not what you're wanting and you have in your head that you want a certain colour and it doesn't really come out like that. So I'm a little bit like, mm. when I had first done it, I think I felt like crying because... <laughs> I had no makeup on, it didn't look very nice. So it's like three days later since I've actually dyed my hair that I'm now finishing this video because I just wasn't very happy with it. Um, in certain places, I don't know if you can see, sorry, the lighting's really bad because my ring light is now starting to break. So I don't know if you can see very well, but there's like, there's like blonde bits and I think it does look quite nice. You know, say if you were looking for more of like that rosy goldy, kind of colour it does look quite nice don't get us wrong um but I think because it's not the colour that I wanted I'm just a bit like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this would definitely be stunning in the summer you know where you're still wanting not to be too dark but you want a bit of colour in your hair then it definitely would be good for the summer but I think for me for what I want it for now and now we're getting into autumn because it's like middle of September yeah it's just not what i really wanted um i haven't washed my hair yet so i cannot really see how long arctic fox lasts for because i've never actually used it before so i cannot see how much like it's gonna wash out or if it's not gonna wash out i really don't know other than there being like little blondie bits in it which i don't know like underneath i think where you can see where my hair is like a bit more over process with the bleach it's taken like really well to some places but again blonde bits maybe it's because my hair was um it was wet when i've done it rather than it being dry like it had said so maybe that's just my fault i'll take a bit of blame for that so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you have a lovely day whatever you're doing like stick around subscribe you know all of that because as horrible as it sounds, I will be dyeing my hair again. I've got a bit more of an orangey colour, so yeah, unfortunately I'm going to be getting rid of it. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.